Ahoy, mateys, and welcome back to Far Cry 3. Uh, it's a beautiful morning here at the Lazy Shore Marina, and uh, we've got some work to do today. We're we're getting towards the end of the game. We really gotta get some work done. Doing work. Now, before we do that, we're gonna play around with our loadout. We've got some new guns to play with, and we're gonna start from the bottom. First thing is you can actually switch out your melee weapon to the Japanese Tonto. And this is something you unlock for getting enough Letters of the Lost. I've actually been sitting on it for a while. That is actually really cool. It's cool, but the only thing it does is increase slash damage. And since the machete is so iconic in Far Cry, I tend to not switch it out. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. But, but we're going to, because it is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, also, grenade launcher. We've seen that before. Uh, we've got a new SMG to pick up, the BZ-19. So this is pretty good. Nothing particularly special, except for its huge magazine. It's a helical magazine, which is pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, that means we don't get to buy an extended magazine. So all we have is a choice between silencer and sights. I guess that'll do. Yeah, it works. We're not going to carry this around too much, but we'll use it for this mission. We're also going to grab the last handgun, the D-50 which is, of course, the Desert Eagle fucking hand cannon. And uh, it's pretty awesome. The only thing is, it makes me make the hard choice between chrome and two-tone black. Hmm. It's a, it's a tough choice. Just meet in the middle and do two-tone. Ah, uh, gotta go with chrome. It's a tough choice, but I think it's the right choice. Fine. Yeah, once you see it uh, catch the light, you'll agree with me. So if you don't remember from last time, because it's been a while since the last story video, we uh, have been sent by Sam to basically drop in on this meeting of traitors, a bunch of privateers who are trying to go behind Hoyt's back. We want to, well, kill them, but also get their roll sheet, which says who's part of the group. I remember that. Time to get some pics of the leaders. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually I realized a lot like um, uh, a lot like that part of the Harry Potter series where they have the secret study group and they put their names on a piece of paper and they all get in shit. It's a lot like that. Dumbledore's army. Exactly. But in this case, we are uh, the assholes who are going to bust them and turn them into the uh, asshole professor. Sweet. Yep. We are literally Draco Malfoy. Uh, this area is pretty cool. It's a whole bunch of uh, sort of rickety platforms and structures built into the side of the gorge and all sort of wired in and connected by zip lines. It's very cool. I do like zip lines. Zip lines are fun. Uh, so, a lot like um, other uh, missions on this island, the fact that we are one of the privateers now comes into play. It's sort of a stealth section. Um, you can't get detected until the meeting happens. But you can kill these guys if you manage to do it stealthily and have no one see you. But it's not worth the risk right now. Hear a guy coughing. Uh, oh, he's like half asleep too. Here's a good place to watch. So we'll just uh, deal with him. I tripped, I swear. Now, I don't think this is actually a good place to watch this meeting from. We are pretty far off, and there's trees in the way. Yeah, really, eh? Yeah, this is at maximum zoom, so I can't. I can't imagine these pictures are gonna be all that good. Gotta find something to blow that truck so he can't get away. Yeah, also bad planning. We are really far off, and uh, they're gonna ditch very shortly, so we need to find a way to stop them. Mm-hmm. Now, our grenade launcher uh, is not gonna reach that far, at least not in a way that I'm gonna be able to actually hit anything. Good death from above. Yeah, so 
I had to redo this part a whole bunch of times because the guys on the opposite side of the canyon kept noticing me killing them. <laughs> and that stupid death from above off a little crate was the best way to do it, I found. That's funny. Hey, it works. Mm -hmm. It's called strategy. So this is a very unsubtle way of doing this. Yeah, no kidding. Interestingly, they haven't actually detected me yet, despite shooting the rocket launcher. Do -do 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 -do. Now they have. So yeah, this, uh, oh dear. This pistol's pretty awesome. It kills regular guys in one or two hits. It's also, um, oh, so that's something new. I'll talk about in a sec. Uh, this is the gun you get if you do the gunslinger takedown, which I guess is part of the um, rationalization for why it kills guys in one hit. Makes sense. Oh, oh, it's a sweet gun, all right. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Now, uh, on that zip line, I was shooting my gun, and that's actually a skill that we learned. Well, we actually learned it quite a while ago. It's just, it never really comes up. But yeah, one-handed weapons, so all the pistols and uh, I think just the Scorpion SMG. It lets you shoot while ziplining. Well, that's pretty handy in certain situations. Yeah, very certain situations. Uh, I do get to use it uh, very shortly, and it is a lot of fun, but uh, it's, just, it's just really not that useful. But damn, does it look cowboy. Yes, yes it does. Uh, I was trying to experiment uh, doing things stealthy and was trying to use the silent scorpion and it doesn't work very well but it looks it looks amazing you just uh, spraying bullets that's funny that was a pretty good pretty good zip line there yeah that one worked well I also make a lot of use of the cover mechanics in this episode. <laughs> Once you figured it out. Yeah, I, I'm getting better with it. But, uh, it just takes a little while to get used to. Fair enough. Let's I see. Mean... Oh, look at that. Alright, well, the cover part was good. Yeah. The shooting, not so much. Yay, more zip lines. Yeah, no bad guys this time though. Boo. I know, that's that's pretty much the last chance for uh, shooting off a zip line. Cover me. So uh also much like that part in Harry Potter, uh, they're getting attacked, and not a single one of them has decided it might be a good idea to try and get rid of that incriminating evidence. True. But I mean, they are just grunts, aren't they? Yeah, they are, and I imagine, you know, a whole bunch of them versus one of us, it would make more sense to just try and kill us. Yep. But it didn't work. Yet, anyway, because uh, we're getting ambushed right now. A whole bunch of guys with, uh, you know, See mounted you guns are going to show up on either side of us. It's a good thing you picked that grenade launcher. Yeah, but you know what? We're uh, we're not going to stay and fight. See ya. We're going to make a nice hasty escape. And uh, apparently Jason had a getaway vehicle ready without us knowing. Some nice rack yeah, just put it there. Yeah, maybe. Good landing. Or maybe Sam. That might make more sense. Mhm. Mm Sam, I did it. I have the roll seat. Good. I will alert Hoyt. Expect a rendezvous. Get into character and present yourself at the gate to his compound. All right. So this is uh, this is what we've been working towards since arriving on the island. Uh, Sam is now gonna make an introduction, and with the hopes that Hoyt will now trust us and we can get close enough to kill him. I do like the sounds of killing him. Yeah, now, uh, this is the first we've heard of his compound. I mean, I guess I guess he had to have a place to, to work from, and it, it is a pretty big operation, but uh, 
compound sounds kind of ominous. Yeah, a little bit. Jason, how goes the mission to kill Hoyt? I'm stronger than ever. Let Citra know that he's as good as mine. Do not worry. I am always at Citra's side. What a bitch. Yeah, that's a little bit creepy, actually. So yeah, that's uh, that's Hoyt's compound beh behind us. It is pretty imposing. Uh, I just want to take a quick look at that boat there. Yeah, look at this thing. Big metal gates and barbed wire. Yeah. Yeah, once we see the inside of it, it is it is actually a very impressive compound. Now Sam doesn't want to talk to us. Too cool for school. Sam, come on, bud. Put on your best poker face. You get one shot at this. Come. This is Foster. Ah, thank you, Sam. Take a cigarette break. You, sit. Where's this list of traitors on your photos? Here. <laughs> mm. That's great work, kid. Yeah, join me for a celebratory cohiba. That was quite a show down there. I don't really smoke. Oh, you're concerned about cancer. <laughs> That's good shit. Cancer won't be what kills you. So, you look like you want to be in my inner circle, Foster. But you know, I can read people. And you, you're a floater. You jump from job to job and never commit. Nothing satisfied me yet. Uh, well, do you know the real secret to keeping employees happy? Fear. So, hobbies. Cooking, painting, movies, crystal meth. What are yours? I like to hunt. Hmm. I'm a hunter myself. The noblest of professions. But you know, I like to hunt real game. I can offer you travel to slave markets in Rio, Hong Kong, New York. This is a global enterprise. Globalization is the future. Bringing things from far away to me. Look at American industry. They put a one, two, three on a contact lens. So when I'm going to place it in my eye, I can tell whether it's inside out. Now, why one, two, three and not ABC? <laughs> that way they can export it around the globe and straight to me. And guess what happens when I'm wearing it? You don't see the one, two, three? Isn't that fucking amazing? That's progress right there. That is civilization. But you know, some guys, they just don't get it. You see that boat out there? I'm holding it and the people on board for ransom. But the customer, he just doesn't want to negotiate outside country lines. Bah. See, I prefer the European recordings. The brass sections in American orchestras are too bombastic. I ensure our slaves come from around the globe. And just like that little contact lens, my product is universal. Now, there's something I'd like you to do for me. I have a prisoner downstairs. I want you to find out who he is, who his benefactors are. Then, I want you to beat him until he can't stand up. I'll send Sam with you. All right. Oh, I keep my eye on the camera feed. I so rarely get to watch another professional at work. Hmm. Hey! Don't disappoint me. Oh, I could use a cold one. And uh, there's our nice one-on-one -on -one with Hoyt. 
can see, like, he's pretty crazy, too. I can see how him and Boss could get along. Bomb me, boy. Yeah, I mean, he is a little bit crazy, but he's also... I don't know. He seems very... Business-oriented. Yeah, business-like is probably a good way to put it. Things are starting to get interesting. Now, there's a couple you interesting little conversations boss, you can overhear, yeah, but they're not that cool. Jason Brody um, I just want to say, at this point, <laughs> things are kind of going well for Jason. He saved all the people he can. Uh, he killed Voss. He has a partner who's actively assisting him, and uh, it looks like his plan is working. So that's good, but um, I have a bad feeling it's about time for a wrench to get thrown in the works. So what I was thinking... How did Hoyt get that? He's not coming to my pilot ceremony next month. Dude, you know your brother's always doing his own shit. Right? Uh, yeah! No coconut for you. Hey, hey, I thought Doug said there weren't people on the island. India! Get them! Everybody run! Help! Let go of me! Get them in the truck! This way. How does this end? You do it. Won't I trust you? Believe your own lies. But remember. Smile. You're on camera. Here's a prisoner for interrogation. What's your name? What? Your name! Uh, Riley Brody! Oh my god. Who brought you to this island? My brother. Where is Jason now? Where? I don't know. Does he think you're dead? Who do you work for? I ask the questions. Where are the four people he stole? I don't know, I just, I just want to get out of here. The camera has been suspended on loop for 38 seconds. Riley. What, Jason? You're alive. What, what the fuck, are you with them? No, I'm getting you out. Okay, okay. Uh, well, well, where's Grant? He's not here, but I am. 26 seconds. Okay, we're leaving, now. Nine. If you do that, you, you might as well shoot him yourself. We must sabotage, won't kill Hoyt. You and I distract the guards, Riley runs. Nine. He will never make it out of the Jesus. building. Listen to him, okay? I can't move from here, man. Nine seconds. You must hurt him. Or Hoyt will know. What? Five seconds. Look, just do it, okay? I can take it. Just, just please promise you'll come back for me, okay? Getting his name inspired use of the carrot and the stick. <laughs> I got a good feeling about you, kid. Listen, I want you to come and play some poker with me. Sam, you're also invited. We'll discuss business. Let me know when. I'm free anytime. Good. Beautiful. I'll make sure Sam gives you the information. Poker night! <laughs> First, 
completely disable Hoyt's communication network. And then we explode his fuel depot. The chaos in his Gestapo will allow us to execute him at the poker game. We'll save Riley. That's a scoot, yeah? Yeah, very. Yeah. Meet me at the fuel depot after pulling the plug on the comm center. This will render Hoyt's men deaf and dumb, yeah? <laughs>